Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the first tutorial in the series of tutorials on SQL. My name is Madhur and I am a software engineer from India and uh, I have recorded two series of tutorials on uh, C and uh, shell scripting earlier and um, you know this is my third uh, series so I hope you guys have fun watching the tutorials in this course and it's, it's going to be a slightly long series because we're going to try to cover as many features of uh, SQL as possible and uh, there's a lot to learn so let's get started and uh, the first thing that we have to do is understand what SQL is and uh, why we need to learn it and then what are the prerequisites for this course and uh, you know we're going to talk about uh, those things in this tutorial so SQL as you can see stands for structured query language and it was developed in the 80s to handle databases now uh, quite a lot of you won't be knowing what a database is and uh, we're going to check out uh, databases in detail uh, in future tutorials but for the time being just know that a database is uh, a place where you have some data right so uh, it could be anything and uh, the data has to be of some significance to you or the organization where you're working and uh, you know you get data and you just put it together and you make a database right so that's all you need to know about databases for now and uh, lots of people use SQL it's it's really very popular it's been in business for about what 35 years now so you know um, it's it's really popular and you would uh, really have fun learning it and you'll also uh, get to use it at a lot of places and uh, why you should learn it as I said it's really easy to learn and uh, it's fun to use and uh, any organization that deals with large amounts of data uses some database management system so DBMS is a software now you keep your data in uh, the memory of your computer right and uh, SQL is a language that you use to sort of interact with your databases but uh, you also need to have some interface right and uh, a DBMS is nothing but that interface so you have data in the memory and uh, DBMS is the interface and uh, SQL is the language that you use to communicate with your databases through DBMS or through the interface right so I hope I'm making some sense and we're going to talk about all these things later on but uh, database management systems are really popular and uh, there are lots and lots of database management systems available in the market and we're going to use MySQL in this course and in the next tutorial probably I'll discuss how we can install MySQL on Windows and uh, also if you're planning to have a website sometime in future or if you already have a website and someone else is managing the website for you and if you want to take over that job then you know you need to master this thing because uh, if you have a dynamic website then it needs to uh, interact with users and it needs to store user data somewhere and uh, generally you store it in uh, you know some database and uh, you obviously have to know how to use SQL and how to use uh, database management systems to uh, you know do more exciting stuff with the data that you have in your databases right and uh, how are we gonna go about this course uh, firstly I hate making PowerPoint presentations and those of you who've seen my tutorials on C or shell scripting you guys would be um, knowing that I hardly rarely ever use PowerPoint presentations but in this course we're gonna learn certain things using PowerPoint because uh, you know we're gonna understand a lot of concepts like uh, what is a table and what is a field and rows and you know primary key and candidate key and columns and all those things so those are concepts and then we're gonna also gonna talk about database normalization and you know how we can perform join operations and stuff so I'm gonna try to make the tutorials very entertaining and um, as illustrative as possible but then we're also gonna use uh, PowerPoint presentations to some extent and uh, then we're going to start with the basics and then we're going to check out some heavy stuff at the end of the course or maybe we're just going to deal with the beginner stuff in this uh, series and then I'm going to make a separate series in which we'll discuss some advanced concepts like performing join operations and stuff right but it's, it's going to be entertaining so you guys uh, will have fun I can assure you that and uh, it's going to be long and that's only because there's a lot to cover so uh, is there anything you need to know to take this course nothing you need to have no prior knowledge about programming or even about SQL you know you you just have to follow the tutorials and you know just do what we do uh, in the tutorials execute the queries and you know uh, just see what kind of output you're getting and just try to make some sense 
and uh, as long as you do that you don't need any reference manuals or textbooks nothing you just need to follow the tutorials and um, i'll try not to bore you right and uh, what do you need? You need to have uh, some database management system installed on your PC and we're going to use MySQL in this course and you can use uh, any other DBMS if you have Microsoft SQL Server or if you have Oracle installed then you can proceed with those uh, DBMSs as well but uh, I'm going to discuss instructions to install MySQL and uh, it's a very cool DBMS. It's not my favorite. I like Oracle more but uh, MySQL is, is, is also very popular and um, you know uh, we're going to check out how to install that in the next tutorial so and also we're going to learn the ANSI SQL right so ANSI stands for American National Standard for something institute I don't know what but uh, you know it's it's a body that sets standards for technologies and uh, you know the ANSI uh, SQL is a standard to which all the database management systems available in the market have to sort of conform to, right? So uh, as long as you're using ANSI SQL, you can work with any other database, uh, with, with any database, but if you start using MySQL specific functions that are not uh, sort of uh, part of the ANSI SQL, then those functions might or might not work with Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server. So I hope you're getting the point that we're going to learn the standard and then from there on you can sort of experiment with different database systems and you can pick the one that you like the most and then learn um, built-in functions and other kind of functions for you know uh, the databases that you like. Right, so let's get started. I'm going to see you in the next tutorial in which, uh, as I said, we're going to understand how we can install MySQL. And uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already. And I'll see you soon.